Hey guys, Amy Smith Hightower here. I'm um, so excited to have you on our YouTube channel. If you're just coming across this video and you've not already pushed subscribe, just push that subscribe button below. That would be awesome. So make sure you are on our notification list of when we post all of our new YouTube videos. Today, first off, I wanted to explain who I am. I'm Amy Smith Hightower. I'm a ketogenic meal plater and mentor from Batesville, Arkansas, who's lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet, and I just celebrated my fifth year on keto on March the 17th of this year. So that's all pretty cool and exciting, but we have 190,000 member keto community who have lost over 2 million pounds combined. So we're super excited if you would join us over on Facebook at You Can Keto um, for our totally free Facebook group. We do free meal plans every single Friday, also that come out through our email as well. So, okay, today what I want to share is three surefire ways for you to get that scale moving in the right direction on keto. Number one, get adequate sleep. You need six to eight hours sleep almost every single night to continuously lose weight on keto or any other diet for that matter. Number two, increase your fluids. Anytime you're going to increase your water, your hydration, like your um, electrolytes, all of those good stuff, the more you can increase your water, normally the smoother your weight loss journey will go. So if you, I don't care how many fluid ounces you're drinking of water a day, but if you will aim for around half your body weight in ounces, you should continue to lose. But if you need to do a big push, I suggest doing about 75% of your body weight in um, actual liquid form of water or electrolytes in some way, shape, or form. Number three, ready? This is a guarantee one here. Weigh your food with the food scale, guys. Most of the time you're over consuming and not, not even meaning to over consume, which is it, it's the frustrating part because then you think your scale's not moving and you're doing everything right. Well, but what really is happening is the fact that you're not measuring your food intake. So therefore you're overeating on almost every single macro category. If these tips were helpful, please make sure you share this video out with others. Uh, you can even share it on your Facebook or your Instagram as well. Or you can follow me at You Can Keto with Amy over on Instagram. And we will see you on the inside for more keto tips, tricks, and hacks.